Guess I could use some target practice. Oh, nothing. I'm too tense.
under arrest! can't be shut off as easily, you taffer. missing. Now, she had no reason to run away. I treated her like my own daughter. Well, who will take care of me now? Ma'am, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're drifting off the subject again. Just stick to the facts, please. Are you going to help me or not? I'll have you know I am a personal friend of Father Karras. He has a great deal of influence, you know. Where do you think all your fancy new devices came from? I doubt he would be pleased to find out you are neglecting to help one of his friends. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of your problem as well. ready and operational. Now it will activate the alarm whenever an intruder doth approach. How does it know the difference between us and an intruder? To find the answer to that question, thou must attend the Mechanist Seminary and join our order. The wisdom of Karath is not for the eyes of the common. What about maintenance for all these contraptions? Thy sheriff did insist that all information for thy security systems be left in the care of Lieutenant Hagen. Instructions are locked in thy secure records area. What secure area? The sheriff requested us to construct a records hall that only he and his lieutenants may view. 
Tis no doubt to keep them from the eyes of incompetence such as thee. Something there? <clears throat> Stupid. It's probably just some rookie. Not so secret anymore, is it?
odd noises.
Who's this? Get over here! I'll find you! I'll find you. You can either come out quietly, or get yourself hurt!
Let's see what I can use against our Lieutenant Hagen.
Hello? Show yourself. I should be able to find something in here.
There! Hello? Seems quiet enough now. Oh well. Did you notice anything? Uh, looks like nothing. Quiet shift then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who's there? Don't get paid for jumping at nothing. See something over there? Hmm. Thought I saw something. Pulse alarm, I guess. Hmm. Nothing there now. What do I see there?
What's that? Notice that? Speak. Uh, I better cut back on all this serve. overtime. Help me light this thing. But I'm so tired of walking around the dark all the time.
Jordan. Something there.
Show yourself. Show yourself. Come back out here, you t Someone there? Hmm. Nothing there now. Strange noises. Better be taffered around down here. <clears throat> In the name of Sheriff Truett, stop where you are.
I should write that down. Now, on to the vault. That I see. Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. I see that.
better do this quick. Better be taffing around down here. go.
Seems like the consequences of my occupation have finally caught up with me. I went to the crippled Burrick pub to meet Sammy about unloading some merchandise. The smell of ale and smoke from the place wasn't enough to cover up the stench of an ambush. A couple of watch officers were there waiting for me. Judging by the look on Sammy's face, I'd say he sold me out. They didn't seem interested in bringing me in either. The bluecoats were looking for swift justice. Fortunately, I always have an ace up my sleeve. I better get back to my place fast and try to figure out what to do next. I just have to get past these guys and the rest of the city's finest out on patrol. Better get moving before they see me. going on? The city watch are all over the place. Oh, they're looking for some guy the sheriff once brought in. Goodness me, is, is this man dangerous? They say they want him dead or alive, but it looks to me like they'd prefer dead. And how do you know that? I was at the pub, saw a couple of bluecoats ambush the guy there. He managed to get away though, never seen anyone move that fast before. He just vanished into the shadows. My! Something moved there. Nobody throws my own sword. Just rats again. Nobody. What's a big fella like you doing out here at night? <laughs> Don't you want a woman to keep you warm? What for? This uniform is plenty warm enough, and it's not even cold out tonight. Got the wind 
Overlord's fancy. Troy led the bust himself. Donald must be pretty pissed. Uh, you can say that. <laughs> if Truer keeps up this pace, we'll all be out of a job. There won't be anyone left to arrest. Something there. <clears throat> Imagining things now. It's nothing now. A sewer never looked so appealing.
next time, I better say no to that second mug of coffee. Sweet home. Remember, men, his name is Garrett. Consider him armed and dangerous. The sheriff wants him brought in dead or alive. Who's the sheriff one with a common thief? Why all the extra manpower? Truett says this man is very dangerous and clever. Just follow your orders. But why? I don't want to hear it. You have your orders. Yes, sir. Sound like rats this time. Who'd I see there? <sighs> uh, better a false alarm than an emergency.
lurking about. <sighs> you think you can hide from me? Looks like I'm gonna need a new address, but I'm gonna have to get to my stash first. What was that noise? Good. Now time to relocate. Oh, 
seen things I don't know. Get paid for jumping at nothing. rats.
by who's making the rocket. Is someone there? What? <gasps> Who are you? Go! Sound clear to you. Thank you. 
said that. at all. Don't worry. I'll find you. You just wait. I'll find you. One move, Tapper, and you're mine. Heads are gonna so roll pretty. now. You're going down, see? Come on. One way or another, off. Hold still. It'll hurt less. Someone will swing for like this. your eyes.
imagination, I suppose. By order of the Council of the Keepers, you must come with us. Garrett, be reasonable. Logic dictates... Leave. But we must... Now! Has your wealth of knowledge grown so vast that you've lost all hunger for more? Is there no more trust between us, then? <sighs> Let's make this fast. My hand is copper, my brow is lead. Suffer me in a red patina, swept along in a molten flow to a sad eternity. My stride interrupted, my thoughts untimed. My tears are become drops of silver that shatter the crystalline fern. I plead the wind to sweep us away. Nice poem. Not poetry, prophecy. The metal age is upon us. I picked the gilded apple from the iron tree. I wipe the rust from my brow. Iron trees? Not in my part of town. Find the humor if you must. But can you tell me truly, Garrett, are there any trees in your part of town? I will answer for you. There are not. Destiny and danger are still focused on the one, the renegade who is both brethren and betrayer. Well, you got the danger part right anyway. Tell you what, you keepers can plant a few shrubs about town and... I'll take care of me. I'll find my own way home. You're a fool! Do you not understand what is at stake? Did you not hear the interpreter's words? Yes, Keeper Orland. He has heard. Do not despair. Let me go after him. Alone. Not to persuade, but to leave the door open between us. One more moment, if you will, Garrett. One moment. You have trouble, my friend. Danger from someone who hired Truart to kill you. Yes? Then take this. The sooner you are done with your business, the sooner you will help us. Don't count on it. My heart, it seems... My heart. 
heart it ceases, my breath undrawn, my eyes forever focused on this sanguine metal dawn. I headed back to my safe house and kept thinking about the letter. I know they're trying to manipulate me, but keepers never alter the truth. Just keep it in the shadows. Besides, it's not like I got a lot of leads anyway. If you seek the private knowledge of the sheriff, go to the Eastport Mechanist Seminary tomorrow night. With stealthy discretion, overhear what you may at a certain very timely meeting. Looks like I have something useful to learn from a seminary for a change. There are two open towers and some back doors which might be helpful for getting in. The catacombs below the church could be another way in, but I'd rather not tread where the dead sleep. The meeting will most likely take place in some sort of conference hall. <laughs> There's no guarantee that I'll even be able to get inside, but all I need to do is get close enough to listen at the door. I better pull this off quickly and find a new hideout before the Bulldogs get my scent. This situation does have one advantage. Things can't get any worse. Who could hire someone like the Sheriff to kill me? Not the first to be afeard of them, though their visage is wrought to strike terror into the enemies of Karas, or those who might consider becoming enemies. Well, and it might, for it near strikes terror into mine own heart. Huh? Oh, 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 oh